In impoverished Bahadaga, an hour from central Delhi, spinach is a treat for Bharti Sakar. <laughs> the lentils have become really expensive and the vegetable seller only comes in the evening with old vegetables, so we don't really get to have them. These greens are grown on a rooftop nearby in a series of cheap, urban-friendly shade houses built by Australian NGO Food Ladder. A solution that could be rolled out to any disadvantaged community anywhere in the world um, that used hydroponic technology in small-scale, very replicable systems. The meals that children here eat otherwise are quite literally taking a crippling toll. There are more than half of, of the children who are stunted and almost half of the children are underweight. Those figures are for slum-dwelling kids in particular, but despite India's rapid economic growth, malnutrition remains alarmingly prevalent. A joint UN and government survey shows a full third of children across India are underweight. Nearly 40% are physically stunted and growing minds suffer too. It contributes in brain development, it cogn contributes in sensory, motor and cognitive development. Two key issues remain for India in tackling the issue of child malnutrition, lack of access to sanitation and poor diets, particularly amongst pregnant women, meaning children in these communities simply aren't getting the nutrients they need to grow and develop. Frustrated by inaction, former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh labelled malnutrition India's shame. It has since made progress, but most agree it's willpower, not more funding, that's most urgently needed. James Bennett, ABC News, Bahadurga.